Today, we will talk a little bit more about object detection. And today, we have Tim here. He will give us a tutorial to run some uh, Python code to do object detection in Jupyter Notebook. One of the term projects could be a robotic wardrobe. I am very excited about this. So there was a project. It was from the uh, MIT Media Lab. And later on, the project, it become a Sara company. The housing or those kind of thing is uh, especially for in a big city. People want to, in a small apartment, but want to uh, utilize the space as much as possible. This is probably uh, also a very interesting idea. Some of us are interested in ABO, RAS, and Vision on a 3D printer. And for example, uh, if uh, someone just draws something uh, on the yellow uh, plate, then uh, you could use the uh, vision system and then send the command to the 3D printer. And actually, this could do some interesting stuff. CUDA accelerated Apple Tech or Apple Tech 2. So last week, we talked about the detail, how the algorithm actually works uh, inside Apple Tech. And one of the solutions is that you could when you compute the gradients, you could probably uh, use CUDA. Maybe since uh, you could accelerate uh, Apple Tag, you could get a higher frame rate, or you could even run it on Android or different platform. I also heard uh, some of you are interested in uh, drone. This is very popular. This video, it's the demo video uh, for ICRA last year. That's the top conference uh, in our field. So actually, uh, I believe that uh, each of the video, there are lots of works uh, behind it. People work pretty hard and create those uh, uh, exciting work. This is a, a guidance, uh, maybe a guideline suggestion uh, for you. Last time, we mentioned that we should find five of the papers. And uh, you could uh, make your term project uh, either research-oriented or real-world problem-oriented. Uh, for the first part, um, if you want to publish something, you definitely uh, need to know what's the state of the art. You could start from scratch, no problem, but you will have to compare your results to the state of the art. We could also uh, talk about the topics, and this could be also part of your thesis work. So you could have a joint force, you don't have to be uh, distracted uh, by different things. Not just replicate previous work. You definitely want to uh, do something about it. You could uh, adapt the code. You could analyze uh, which part is not that good, and you, I could make it better. Or you could try it in a new uh, uh, data set. Or even better, you could use the same uh, method for a different uh, application. OK? So this is uh, uh, research-oriented. And you could also uh, definitely work on real-world uh, problem-oriented. And uh, ideally, working with a client, that means that um, people want it. You definitely want to work, as, work on something that could create value, so that if uh, someone already back you up, then that's the best thing, right? So if uh, some like, real estate person is interested in your work, and later on, maybe you could like finish the prototype and prior pattern or something. And yeah, that, that's a very uh, uh, encouraging. OK, but uh, one thing I, I would like also want to remind you, uh, because we only have, uh, we don't have too much time uh, in the semester, right? So uh, we will have to uh, make reasonable uh, milestones for your final presentation. So this is uh, actually what's, what's going on uh, for the assignment. We have uh, a few uh, sections uh, in the Jupyter Notebook. We actually try to dig into the, the repo. We dig into the code and grab something relevant back to the uh, Jupyter Notebook cell and run it. There are some key components uh, in the uh, line detector. Maybe we could just focus on a line detector for today. So uh, there are some like canning uh, detector, uh, half transform. You also do the color space. You convert the color space a little bit. 
and you calculate the line normals because you want to know the line segment is on the left or right of the, uh, the patch. Okay, and you could actually find something uh, similar how we had uh, last week. So something like Gaussian smoothing, uh, gradients, uh, connected components, uh, line fitting, etc. Yeah, so I, I don't know like how many of you, uh, you try to take a look at the OCW. And you could see some of the uh, sections. That's exactly what happened uh, in this uh, line detector in Ducky Town. Okay, so for example, some filters, canning uh, edge detection, uh, color space, uh, half transform. And it's not very long for uh, each section, maybe just uh, 15 uh, minutes. And I hope that the updated uh, OCW will uh, help you better for the theoretical part of the ducky tongue of the vision algorithms. For example, for the convolution uh, filter, maybe less than eight minutes, and it's all already in our uh, OCW. In order to motivate you guys a little bit more, I will design some discussions. People can watch it and know what's going on, and we could talk about it. But if you haven't seen the OCW or don't have a background yet, you could take a look at those questions and then ask yourself, what should I learn when I watch this uh, video? Okay, how about the first question? How many filters do you know? What can they do for you? Sobo filter, okay. And what's, what can Sobo filter give us? You will find the edge, right? Yeah, when, uh, it's more like the pre-processing of the apple detection. You want to get rid of some noise. Gaussian, great. Okay, that's good. Maybe uh, one of the easiest uh, filter is like averaging filter, right? So if you have a three by three uh, filter and you just, uh, each of them uh, is uh, one divided by nine and you just uh, slide it across the image and compute the average of those nine pixels and put the uh, average value uh, in the center of the filter. Does anyone know median filter? Yeah, you do some sorting. For example, you have nine pixels, right? And you do some sorting and you have those nine values there and you just pick the middle. Okay, if you are not sure if a median filter is a convolution filter or not, go ahead and try to watch our OCW, okay? Last week, we also talked about the gradient, and we actually mentioned it also in our uh, OCW. To calculate horizontal or vertical uh, gradient, um, you could design maybe horizontal or vertical uh, filters. What do they look like? Gradient, you essentially want to find the first uh, derivative. You want to find a change, right? Oh, so this is uh, one of the example from white to black and from black to white. And uh, this is the intensity function uh, on, the, on the intersection. And then uh, if you take the first uh, derivative, you will find a high response at those changes. There are some like, different ways depending on your like, filter, the size or uh, other things. So it's some, maybe something like uh, minus 0.5, 0.5, minus 0.5, 0.5, and you could arrange it somehow so that you will get a different uh, uh, directional uh, filters. So we try to um, give you some uh, discussion to motivate you uh, for the OCW, and at the same time, actually, we are using it in our assignment one. Yeah, so we will, we will also uh, play with uh, some of the parameters. Okay, so this is the canning. So it's just a one line code in Python. And how many parameters in that function? Uh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I didn't count the input. Yeah, so, okay. And um, yeah, so, Please uh, make sure that uh, what does uh, non-minimum suppression, uh, what is, uh, th this method is doing. And you also want to know a little bit more about uh, the parameters. So uh, sometimes in different environments, you will want to set it differently. 
Yeah. For example, if you are in a very uh, noisy one, you will have to set the threshold, actually two thresholds, right? You will, you will want to set it maybe higher or lower. You will have to think about it, or you could experiment with it. Okay, so uh, Kenny. Okay, color space, yeah. Um, we, we actually uh, also uh, use this, and maybe you could also think about uh, if we want to detect maybe color lines under different illuminations. For example, uh, under the sunshine, or maybe in the dark, or, or something else. The, yeah, the, the color uh, may look differently inside in your camera, then what can you do? So this is something uh, you, you want to uh, think about. Okay, and then uh, Hof transform. Uh, I think we spent a little bit more time, uh, not, not so much, yeah, maybe just 10 minutes. Yeah, um, actually there, there are some like interesting things uh, going on for the Hof transform. And Hof transform is also very similar to uh, what, we, uh, what we have done in the lens filter because the lens filter also used the voting mechanism. Okay, so for uh, in the lens filter, uh, you, you find line segments and you try to vote those uh, segments by their uh, lateral distance and uh, phi. Phi is the heading uh, direction. Okay, so some, uh, like if you do something like change one coordinate to uh, a different coordinates, then it's uh, in the general form of a Hof transform. And it could help you to uh, find, uh, detect lines or detect uh, circles or maybe something more. Okay, and in your code, in your assignment one, um, we actually use the uh, Hof line P. So it's a, a variant, it's a um, kind of different um, algorithm from the original uh, Hof line. Um, so anyone know why we want to use uh, Hof line P? Or what's the, maybe what's the difference, uh, what's the P means? Yes, yes, and actually the main reason is that uh, Hof line P is faster. Okay, but uh, we, did, this is also some uh, interesting question you should ask yourself. So what's the difference? All right, so now I'm, I'm just uh, trying to uh, motivate you and when you read those, uh, watch this uh, OCW, please uh, try to think actively. Okay, and since today, uh, team will talk about uh, phase detector, and we already have the, the theoretical background of a uh, phase detector in our uh, OCW. So uh, you don't want to see me again, I like, talking the same thing, right? So yeah, I, I think uh, OCW is uh, pretty good, and we could save the time for discussion. Team will also mention the, some of the, maybe the convex hole a little bit, Right, because the ducky detector actually try to find the contour of the yellow duck and then uh, try to build a convex hole around it.